Hey guys, it's your boy Malik on Fleet 3.0 back at it again with another manga recommendation video. And we're back at it again talking about Glipnir. If you remember, I think like a year ago, maybe a couple months ago, I talked about this anime. So I've been putting off the manga because usually if I watch the anime, I'm not going to read the manga. But sometimes the manga is always better than the anime. And since I haven't yet to hear that there's going to be a season 2 for Glipnir, I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to read the manga. And let me tell you, this manga was actually pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie like the story pretty good pretty good the only thing i disliked about this entire manga is that the madara fucking bullshit that they pull at the end not madara fucking uh what's her face at the end of naruto that she just came out of butt fuck nowhere kaguya kaguya when they pulled a kaguya at the end when the story should have ended right then and there i was kind of mad but luckily they finished it off like two chapters later but still they shouldn't have pulled that bullshit the story should have ended how it should have ended instead of pulling that bullshit because that dude what he did first of all i forgot that he even existed but still like they shouldn't have done that but this is an easy read like y'all should read it from what I, the manga I, I mean the manga app i use it was like 88 chapters there's only 14 volumes when you look it up like this is a manga you should read if you don't feel like watching the anime because the anime was only like 12 episodes or so and it just disappeared off the fucking face of the planet and nobody even remembers what this shit was called or like how it how it worked but this manga right here this manga was fucking amazing this manga was fucking amazing the powers the power system the fucking the story like the characters like bro the motivations I wouldn't be recommending this manga if I didn't like this shit. Like, I ain't go cap. Like, this manga was pretty good. And I really, 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 really wish that if the anime does come back, it really adapts to literally what happened in the manga. Do not change a single thing. So, to be honest, from what I read, the anime already changed certain, um, like, interactions. And now that I think about it, I don't fuck with that. Because if they did every interaction like they did in the manga, that shit would be 10 times better. I already like the anime in itself, but the manga just boosted it up. Like, come on. This is something that you should literally read. The manga was very good. The characters were very good. Like, the only thing I just have a problem with was damn near the ending. Like, wh wh why would you do that? Like, it, it was fine, and then you, you almost pulled some bullshit, and I, I didn't fuck with that. Like, we already had a final boss. We don't need an extra one, okay? Like, relax, okay? You pulled it three times. You pulled it with the actual main, um, the main villain, and then you you pulled a Kaguya, and, and then you put another Kaguya. Like, bro, relax, okay? We don't need three main villains at the end, bro. We don't need three boss villains. Just stick with the one or two, and we'll be fine, okay? I, I, that's it. We don't we don't we don't need to do all that. But other than that, this manga was amazing. So what you should do, if you don't have any manga to read. Go find this one because Malik recommended it. Um, recommended it, and I promise you, you will enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, then I don't know what the fuck you're reading. I, I ain't gonna count. Like you, you just have bad taste. But that's all for me. Malik on Fleek 3.0 out. Go read this manga. I promise you, you're gonna like it. Deuces.